from all things at once without thinking twice. And I knew we would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my mind. Ooh, this road that I am on. Gotta stay here for some time Time has gone and I grew up I somehow made it through without And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out From the dark The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to take you along with us on our typical Wednesday. Um, we have some schooling to do. As you can see, we had a super early morning, thanks to Jack. <laughs> he uh, woke me up at 5.30 and he's been up ever since, so he's currently down for a nap. So I am going to try to get our school day started now that I'm ready for the day. Tomorrow is Thursday and that is my typical shopping day, but I'm gonna go ahead and go shopping tonight instead because I have to take Jack to the pediatrician tomorrow and I'm probably not gonna feel like going grocery shopping afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out grocery shopping tonight and I will take you along with me um, while I go shopping and also show you what I get at Aldi for my family of seven. Let's get started with our school day. Um, the kids are currently drawing. See my princess peach? That's my daughter. Yeah, it looks like they're in a Mario kick right now. So they're drawing. Um, they've been doing this all morning. <laughs> so we're going to um, wrap this up and then get started on our morning work. What? <laughs> no. Is your tooth out yet? No. Check out this girl's teeth. Yeah, yeah. Literally hanging. So we'll see if she ends up losing those today. So we got a crying baby and a crying toddler. <laughs> who is currently sitting on her puzzle box crying. Oh, somebody got into the Sharpie. <laughs> this day. Starting out a little bit hectic. Show me what you did. What'd you do? I know what it is. Cheese. Cheese. Did you make yourself Daniel Tiger? No. Okay, here's our lineup for the day. We're gonna do our morning work, then some spelling. We're gonna do some language arts and math, geography. Science, I didn't fill in the information for geography or science, and then read our read aloud. So I have the kids' um, fix it grammar all up on the board, and we are gonna get started with our day. <sighs> well, 
this day <laughs> starting out a little bit rough. Um, Zoe is super cranky, Jack is super cranky and teething, and I feel like we're way behind on our morning work, but um, I'm just going to kind of sit here and just take a breather while they work on some stuff in there. And of course, Zoe marked all over herself with Sharpie first thing, so it's like, hopefully that's not an indicator for what's to come today. Hopefully we can turn this around quickly. So, I'm just kind of taking a breather with this boy. He's looking out at the sun. Is it pretty out here? It is at least super sunny today. The sun is out. I think it's gonna be in the 50s today, so the kids will be able to go outside. Hi. Hi, handsome boy. Yeah, he's got his four month appointment tomorrow. He turns four months old tomorrow. I just cannot believe it, that it has already been four months of him in our lives. I always forget how fast this goes, this infancy stage. Like, pretty soon he'll be running around with Zoe. Huh? You see, you'll be running around too, getting into Sharpies and stuff. All right, everybody all settled down now? Huh? Are uh -oh. you coloring? What happened? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Not, not it's okay, I'll put the caps back on. Are you having fun? Huh? Colorful. I <laughs> tried to wipe all of that off, but it's not coming off because it is Sharpie. How's it going over here? Oh, you figured out all the colors yourself, huh? Yeah. Good job. Said. Great job. How's it going over here? Well, I'm sitting in my room just trying to catch my breath. It has been such a rough morning. I haven't had a morning like this in a really long time. In fact, the past couple of weeks, like three weeks to a month have been pretty smooth as far as getting into a groove and getting into a swing of things with school, but it feels like slap, slaps. I just guess I'm so tired. I just I just called Jack Slap. I just called Jack Slap. Slap. I don't know. I just said slap. Slap slap. Slap sleep regression. Jack, <laughs> He's not amused. Jack's sleep regression. Hey, please don't eat on my bed. You're gonna get crumbs everywhere. Please go sit at the table, okay? Sit at the table. Hey. <laughs> Jack's sleep regression and teething and then Zoe has just been a beast lately. I know it's like normal toddler stuff but I'm just tired and just trying to do my best you know finish this year up strong and it's hard you guys like I don't ever want to come across like I have it all together or I have it all figured out because I truly don't like Every day is just me doing my best to keep things together here and I can't do it all and I can't do it on my own. So yeah, today is just one of those days. And usually I would say, you know, just take the day and um, focus on something else. But I really want to teach my kids to, to persevere through hard days because you can't in the real world just like, I am right now <laughs> you can't just give up and be like yeah I'm not gonna do that because it's hard you know so 
I'm gonna try to turn this attitude around, including my own. Sometimes it's my attitude. Sometimes it's me getting into a funk that, you know, make, creates the trajectory of the day. And so if I show the kids that I can turn around my attitude and just take it one thing at a time and not get so overwhelmed, then maybe we'll be able to turn this day around completely with the rest of the kids. So I'm gonna just try to keep this boy happy. Today will be probably goal number one and um, get some schoolwork done. Probably do a lot of schoolwork on the couch while I hold the baby. Probably have to wear him a little bit too today, even though he's getting bigger and it's starting to hurt my back really bad. So we'll see. Um, but I might do that as a last ditch effort to just get him happy. Yeah, I just wanted to have this real life mom chat with you guys that some days are not beautiful and there's no amount of music montage that can make it look beautiful. So that was today. So resetting, hitting the reset button. Whoa, where are you going? And doing Amazon packages. All right. This problem. Use what you learned about multiplication to find the product of A times four. been falling asleep in this thing lately. <laughs> All right. All right, Kaylin is working on language arts. I'm finishing up language arts with um, Maddie, and so we are going to then do math. Elijah, I'm gonna get you started on math. Well, I thought that it sounded awfully silent. And then this girl. <laughs> put herself down for a nap. Did you have a rough morning? Mm -hmm. So Maddie is reading about Mary today and she's super excited. Hey. We love this beginner reader's Bible. She's been reading me a chapter a day. So we are now on to Jesus. So Maddie just finished up with math and language arts. Kaylin is finishing up her language arts. Elijah's finishing up with math and then he has to do language arts. Um, we're running a little behind today, but it's okay. It's 11.30 and after uh, Elijah is finished with his stuff, then we will have lunch and maybe Zoe will be up Hi, by now. So um, the day's going a little bit better now but we'll see what the rest of the day holds. Jack's still sleeping in his jumper room, which is hilarious to me. Um, and yeah, I'm tired, but I'm hanging in there. So I think I'm gonna get a second cup of coffee. I might end up with three cups today um, because yellow, you only live once, right? Usually I only have two, but this mama is dragging and I have grocery shopping to do. So I still need to put in an Instacart order. So I think I'll go ahead and do that right now while I'm in between kids and um, everybody's kind of self-sufficient and, uh, and yeah, get that all taken care of. Yes, this is much needed. I feel like I'm just sort of falling forward today. Do you ever have days like that? like things are happening but I'm like kind of falling into it <laughs> it's not planned and it doesn't look very pretty all right we've got our core work done for the day Woo! we are actually doing this we are powering through the day it feels good 
So I'm gonna take care of this little cranky boy. Drink my coffee. This one's walking around with a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Derek, I hope you're not watching this. <laughs> if you have crumbs on her bed, that's why. Um, so cheers. Cheers to crumbs. Cheers to peanut butter and jelly crumbs on the bed and cranky babies. My kids are crazy because they're upstairs playing with Legos. And it is absolutely beautiful outside. It is like 50 something degrees. So all of the snow is starting to melt. You can still see a ton like out there in the field, but um, I actually see grass and it's awesome. You keep on waiting, but then you came along and proved me wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. So we decided, sorry. Oh, the sun is so bright out here and my husband took my vehicle today to work because he's going to be surprising Elijah with a new bike after he gets home. So he took my sunglasses with him. So it's very bright out here, but I'm not complaining. Um, we decided to come out, get some fresh air. This is Jack's like only a handful of times out of the house since he's been born because he was born in November and we had a pretty furious winter this year so where are you going we're gonna take a little bit of walk the kids are playing in the back so they were gonna go see what they're up to back there <laughs> we just have this old rickety swing set out here we're hoping to upgrade to something wooden maybe this summer but my in-laws had this so they were like hey you want us to bring this over and so we just set it up back here and the kids like playing on it once in a while. Hee hee you! Uh -huh. See all of the ice melting in the snow and it's creating these huge puddles in our yard. Watch the snow! <laughs> Snowing. Oh, I cannot wait until all of this is green again. But it is just gorgeous out here. I'm trying to find my kids. I don't know where they're at. This was my little itty bitty starter garden from last year. And I'm so excited. We're going to build bigger beds this year um the raised garden is definitely the way to go so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna build i think a couple of different raised beds but our gardening season doesn't really start for another two months or so in fact we had a frost way in of may last year so we are going to start, no, 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 baby, don't play with that. We start um, our gardening season more towards May. This weather is giving me all the spring feels today. I love it. What are you doing, honey? Playing with all the stuff you're not supposed to? Yeah. Yes. I actually think um, now that we're in from our little walk outside, I just scrapped the rest of the day. We had geography, science, and our read aloud left. But um, just given that it's such a beautiful day and we had such a rough start and we got our core stuff finished, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and wipe out the rest of this to-do list. I preach about the flexibility of homeschooling all the time and the freedom that we have. And to really feel out <laughs> Sorry, my toddler is getting naked right now. Um, 
to really feel out uh, just your family that day. And right now my kids are outside getting active, enjoying the sunshine. We just enjoyed the sunshine and I'm just going to give us the freedom to take the rest of the day off and that is totally and 100% okay. So yeah, I think now I'm going to go ahead and put my grocery order in, get the school stuff cleaned up while Jack's down for a nap. He fell asleep in the wrap. So I'm going to get the stuff cleaned up, do a grocery order. Um, I might run another load of dishes and kind of clean up the kitchen a little bit. I've been ordering some stuff for Easter because I think we're actually getting together with family this year. So I got Elijah this. And then I got Derek this button up. It's really cute. It's like an ombre chambray. Um Color. It's really pretty though. Well, I mean manly. <laughs> and I got Elijah. I don't know if I'm feeling this button up for Easter. It looks like waves on it. This looks more like summery, like vacation-y kind of button up than Easter. But I might order him something different than this. But I'm loving the jeans, loving Derek's stuff. I got Elijah a new belt. This is super, super cute. It looks huge though, so we'll see if I'm digging it. Um, but it's nursing friendly, like it buttons up right here, which was super important to me in a dress this year because there's nothing worse than trying to nurse in a dress that isn't nursing friendly. Basically have to hike your entire dress up. So we'll see. I also got the girls some um, dresses from Target. So yeah, like I said, I don't know if I'm digging Elijah's top. I mean, I'm gonna keep it. It's cute nonetheless, but um, I think I might get him something different for Easter. I'll have to show you guys the girls' dresses too um, when Eli or when Jack, or should I say, what did I call him earlier? Slap slap <laughs> wakes up from his nap Ooh, it's rhyme laying down the beats i'm absolutely starving i had a sandwich earlier but i'm gonna have an apple now it's the cosmic crisp apples from all day they are amazing i'm not a big apple person but i love these okay um so i just tried on my old navy dress and um uh, yeah, I'm feeling very Laura Ingalls Wilder and not in a good way. It's got, I, mean, I don't know, maybe if I like wore a cute jacket over it or something or like a cute jean jacket. I don't know, maybe if I ditch the Fitbit, that might help. But I also have like some layers on underneath. Obviously, I'm like still wearing my jeans and do not judge my two different colored socks. That's all I could wear. I love that it has pockets. I love that it has, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm having a hard time with this. Okay, I'm definitely digging it more with a jean jacket. I think it just gives it enough. Okay, I think I, I'm digging it. What do you guys think? This is for Easter. I mean, I just, I need something that's like cute and functional because if we're going over to my uncle's house, I'm gonna need to be able to feed Jack um, 
probably in the bathroom or something <laughs> or in a bedroom somewhere so I just want to be able to be comfortable and um yeah I don't know I, th I think I like it obviously without the black jeans and the two different colored socks probably wear some slides or something hopefully it'll be nice this is how my kids react whenever Derek comes home <gasps> go running after him <laughs> all right I am just now getting to go grocery shopping I am stopping at the gas station really quick um, Derek was like an hour late from work today so I'm getting a start on my grocery shopping my gas is done pumping and I will show you what I get from Aldi okay I'm gonna show you my quick haul here from Aldi um, I'll just start left to right so yeah, I get pizzas. <laughs> um, Derek and I, every night after I come home from grocery shopping, we do cauliflower pizzas. I might have snuck a stuffed crust pizza in there. Um, totally healthy. These milks actually were from the store that I picked up my grocery order. Um, I love all these like spring mix. Uh, their produce is actually really, they've stepped up their produce game. I used to not like getting produce from Aldi but they really stepped it up. Um, and then I got Derek some coffee. I got this for snacks for the kids. Um, I got the peanut butter. Some people don't like their peanut butter, but our kids like them. So. And then I got these little peanut butter um, sandwich crackers for a snack. Um, my husband likes cottage cheese. Whipped cream to go in the coffee, of course. I got some balsamic vinegar for a chicken recipe that I'm gonna be making. We like these little flavorings, these little um, sugar, they're sugar-free. Uh, we like putting that in our water sometimes. How did this gelato get in there? That's amazing. Dark chocolate chips because I make Derek keto chocolate chip cookies. I got this chicken marsala candle skillet stuff. I don't know if it's any good. I thought I'd try it. Um, I love snacking on these pretzel slims. I, like, I get the everything bagel kind. Almond flour. If you're looking for cheap like um, substitutes for flour and sugar like stevia, Aldi's a place to go. I got a bag of almond flour, two packs of bacon, mini peppers, Pepper Jack cheese. The kids like the goldfish. I love their never any chicken breasts. So I got two packs of that for a um, recipe. Shredded pepper jack. Apparently they really like pepper jack around here. Some mixed veggies. They also have this keto friendly bread, low carb bread that Derek can eat for work. And he also loves these Elevation Bars. He likes these Caramel Chocolate Nut Roll Bars. Um, they have... Yeah. <laughs> Only two grams of sugar, so those are amazing. I got wheat crackers, cilantro, honey roasted cashews, <laughs> two kids <laughs> um, I got dark chocolate and sea salt granola the kids love this in the mornings um, I got these tortilla chips and some pretzels um, got some peas these low carb tortillas for Derek I needed some cocoa powder so I got some of that um, shredded parmesan some of this delightfully pure vanilla creamer. I like the um, dairy creamer, so. I got a couple of things of chicken broth, bananas,